Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to From the Holler. If you're new, my name is Missy, and little man is back there. We're sitting in the back parking lot of the doctor's office, waiting to be seen. It's my turn this time. Um, allergies have gotten the best of me, and so I figure since this weekend's Easter and we have things to do, then I just need to go ahead and get on up here and get this taken care of. Um, I do want to say first and foremost that we are sending our thoughts and prayers to the people of Baltimore. We love y'all. We're thinking of y'all and we're praying for y'all. So anyway, after we're done here, um, I screwed up y'all and I did not get any eggs to decorate Easter eggs. I know. How could I do that? <laughs> anyway, we're going to run. We're going to go ahead and do our grocery haul a little bit early this week. So, y'all will see it as normal, but we're going to go ahead and pick up the stuff that we need because um, we're going to be doing a family gathering at my daughter's house in Middle Tennessee on Saturday, so we won't be around. And of course, Sunday is Easter, and yeah, we've got a lot coming up. So a lot to get done between now and then. And uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and, and grab what we need. So yeah, uh, hopefully this part of it goes quickly, because um, I'm starving. I am, and I am not going into a grocery store hungry. Not going to happen, is it? And I, I think I think somebody else would be pretty upset if we didn't have lunch. I mean, who can go to town and not have lunch, you know? So anyway, let's get this going. Wait, I just realized. Our shirts are the same color. They are, aren't they? We're Twinkies. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you to Fitville for sponsoring this video. As y'all know, Paps and I are both type 2 diabetics, and a good pair of shoes goes a long way in comfort and support for our diabetic feet. Paps got the top grip, skid-resistant work shoes, and y'all, he loves these shoes. He wears them all the time. They have the springy cushioning, which minimizes impact, and maximizes stability so you'll feel no pain when you move around in these Fitville shoes. They are awesome. They also come with wide toe boxes which are roomy and friendly to wide feet or if you have issues like plantar fasciitis, bunions, etc. These are the shoes for you. These are the shoes that I picked out. I got the Women's Cloud Wonder or Slip-Ons and they are true to their description. They are like walking on clouds. And I am so glad that I picked these out. I have worn these to the grocery store. I have worn them to an Easter egg hunt. I've worn them to the garden. I've worn them everywhere. And let me tell y'all, I am tickled pink with these shoes. Fitville has also been gracious enough to offer a discount code for the first 30 of you that place an order. It is HOLLER28, and with that discount code, you will receive a 28% discount off of your order. Y'all, that's awesome. You'll love these shoes. You will find the link and the discount code in the description box of this video. All you have to do is click on that link and place your order use my discount code holler28 and you're good thank you fitville once again all right y'all here is our weekly grocery haul from kroger and we're just going to jump right on into it because i found some more deals today i caught these three pound rolls of ground beef it is the 80 20 I caught them for $3.83 each, and I just grabbed what I saw. Those will go in the freezer. Love those deals. I got Paps and Aiden a little treat. Y'all, I couldn't pass this deal up. These were on sale for $0.50 cents a box. So I grabbed the only box they had, 
and I've already put them in the freezer because it is about a 45 minute drive back home. So I went ahead and threw them in the freezer. So there's the box for that. These onions were in the produce clearance. They were 99 cents for four of those. Went ahead and grabbed those because I like to have some fresh onion on hand. And if they start sprouting or going bad or anything like that, then I'll cut them up and we'll put them in the freezer. So I grabbed those. Aiden wanted a pack of baby carrots. He likes to dip these in ranch. And so I went ahead and got those for him. They were on sale for $1.25 a bag, I think. So I just grabbed one bag of those. And I got three dozen eggs because it is Easter egg dying time. And so I, Aiden and I will be decorating Easter eggs. And then I needed some eggs just to cook with. So I went ahead and grabbed two of the 18 packs. They were on sale. Y'all, these were $3.99 each. What the what? Are we serious with the eggs again? Uh, uh, yeah. $3.99. Mm, 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 mm. Anyway, that is my Kroger haul for the week. And I will give you guys the total and let you know if I stay within my budget here in just a few minutes. All right, y'all. So, did I stay within my budget of $25 this week or did I go over? What do y'all think? What is the consensus? And y'all, it is raining cats and dogs out there. And yeah, you can't carry an umbrella Plus your groceries in, okay? I had three bags and my purse and all things. So, yeah, just, it's stuck, okay? It's stuck. Anyway, so did I stay under budget? Okie dokie. Are y'all ready? I spent $24.82 on my groceries this week. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. My savings was $5.33, and my total was $24.82. That is with three pounds of meat, three dozen eggs. Talk about a protein-packed grocery haul. Yes, three dozen eggs, three pounds of meat, my my buddy's happy. Oh, one thing you did not see on there was a um, theater size box of Whoppers. Okay, um, they were a dollar, and he loves those. And he had been a very good boy. <sighs> and uh, yeah, he had done well while we were at the doctor's office and all that. So. Nanny treated him to a box of Whoppers. So, yeah. That was one thing you didn't see on there. Um, either he has eaten all of them or he took off with them as soon as we got home. One of the two. I'm not sure. Anyway, so yeah, we, we did really well this week. And that is the end of March. That That is our March grocery hauls right there and we stayed within our budget um we we went a little bit over as y'all know we went a little bit over last week a dollar and something and y'all i'm not going to complain about that i'm really not so and if i keep finding that hamburger meat at kroger on clearance i'm y'all i'm i am not complaining about that either i'm just not i love that so anytime I find it, I'm going to grab it up. So, yeah. So anyway, that's our grocery haul for the week. Like I said, we have got a lot of things going on towards the end of the week. Uh, Aiden's got another Easter egg hunt, I think Friday. And they're going to be doing pictures with the Easter Bunny and all that. Um, and then Saturday, we are leaving extremely early to travel over to Middle Tennessee to do Easter with 
our kids and baby grands. We're all going to meet over there at her house, at her daughter, at her daughter's house. Um, and then Sunday, of course, is Easter. So um, I don't know if I'm going to cook a big dinner or not yet. I haven't decided. But anyway, we've got a lot of things coming up this weekend. So I went ahead and just knocked out the grocery haul. But you guys will be seeing it on the normal day. So with that being said, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a big old thumbs up as it really helps our channel out and help it to continue to grow. And if you haven't yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button because Aiden and I, and Pops too, would really love you to have, would really love to have, y'all. We would really love to have y'all join our YouTube family and be a part of this fun little community that is forming and building and growing all the time. And I am all excited for that. Anyway, it is still coming down pretty hard outside. So I'm going to get in here and see what I can get into as far as housework is concerned. Yeah. So, much love to each and every one of y'all. And we will see you all in the next video. Bye, y'all.